Dr. Noah Petro, laboratory chief at the NASA Goddard Flight Center, where it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at Cleveland. <laughs> You're in the path of totality. Doctor, take it away. What, what do we need to do and what do we not need to do today? Well, first of all, we need this clear sky to stay around until 3 o'clock. Because yeah. right now the weather forecast, oh, it's not looking so good. So first of all, for folks, no matter where you are, if you have these eclipse glasses, we want to use these anytime the sun is out. If you're in the path of totality, take them off during totality. Everywhere else, you should always use these glasses to look up at the sun. So I see the sun right there, that beautiful, bright, glowing disc in the sky. But I see no other lights on with these glasses. And that's how I know these are safe solar viewing glasses. Oh, and our the, the winds are starting to kick up and look at us go there. So what we want to do is everybody needs to be prepared for enjoying the eclipse. And again, starting in a few hours, mm -hmm. the partial eclipse begins when you have the moon starting to block out the sun. Everybody, golly, it's getting windy out here. Everybody needs to have their glasses ready or indirect viewing methods. If you've got your spaghetti colander on the, on the ready, that can be a wonderful way to enjoy the oh, eclipse wow. as well. That's interesting. So I just want to get this straight because we had some tips up. I'm going to ask my team to put those back up. So, Dr. Petro, you said in the total eclipse, which is only going to last like mm -hmm. three or four minutes for most people, you can take right. these off. For children, exactly. I always say keep them on because they're not going to time out three minutes, but I'll leave it to the doctor. No. What do you say? Right. So, yeah. So what you want to do for kids, and this is really important, is if you've got these glasses or, again, indirect viewing methods, if you have a colander, you can project the sun shadows onto the ground. You don't have to be looking at oh, the sun, wow. but when the sun is completely blocked out, you won't see the sun and you'll see the blow, the glowing corona, then it's safe. Um, yeah, you don't need to time it out, but the moment you start seeing any sunlight appear, that's when you know you need to look away. So for parents, what I would suggest is that you, uh, again, use indirect viewing methods, have the kids practice now, putting them on, looking up at the sun, looking down. Okay. Um, but certainly if you're in the path of totality, you want them to be looking at the sun, towards the sun, because that's when you get the beautiful, spectacular show of this total eclipse. I love your enthusiasm. So scientifically, though, this is so important. Yeah. And kids are studying it. Mm -hmm. In 1979, I wrote a paper in junior high on it when, when I got to see one. Um, it really is a big deal. Just real quickly, your thoughts about what, what you want people to take away from this, other than the fact that it's cool. Well, as you said earlier, it is this immersive experience. The temperature drops. Animals start making their bedtime noises. Um, you will oh. see shadows differently. Everything around you changes and so you almost every one of your senses gets heightened during an eclipse hmm. and then totality sets in and you see this amazing show we learn a lot about the interaction of the sun with the earth's and atmosphere from these events we learn about the size of the sun from these events so it is a an educational experience as well as an immersive one i love it dr petro thank you so very much it's fun to come to you and by the way you are getting your wish come true it's windy so that's going to keep those clouds blown away for you <sighs> Yes! I hope so, I hope so, Everybody's I hope so. crossing their fingers. It's hilarious. Great. All right. Thank you for the expertise. Thank you so much.